Gwen from Everything Gwenny. I know it's been a very long time since we've seen a video, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to make a video with regards to this recent purchase. So diamondart.ca uh, is a new or newer, I'm not sure how new, I think they're pretty new, um, is in located in Canada, which is where I am obviously, and they're actually located in Ajax, Ontario, which is really just like a 15 minute drive from my house. So I ordered this on Thursday and it arrived on Friday and today is Saturday. So I'm filming this on Saturday. Uh, I don't know the actual day. I don't know if anyone knows the actual day anymore. But anyways, those are the details for this package. So let's go ahead and open it up. Again, it's from diamondart.ca in Ajax, Ontario. Their website is diamondart.ca. Not to be confused with Diamond Art Club. This company uh, seems to deal with, at least currently, smaller sized projects. So uh, the majority of the ones that were available were 30 by 30 or 30 by 40. And I think I ordered five of them, four or five of them. I don't even remember. Um, but there was an interesting story that happened with this company. And let me just get the box open and then I can concentrate story here. All right, let's just take this out quickly. So, so yes, I ordered five of them. And then on the website, they had actually said that if you were ordering more than two, that you could get 20% off with a coupon. I was so excited to order that by the time I placed my order, I forgot to use that coupon. And so I had just kind of out of the you know, just kind of thought maybe I'll just message them through their Facebook site and see what they say. So I sent them a little message saying, you know, I just placed an order. I see there was a coupon code. I forgot to use it. Is there anything you can do? Not really expecting anything. It was my fault. They'd probably say we'll use it on the next order. No, they came back right away, less than an hour, maybe 15, 20 minutes and said, oh, you know, we got your order, thank you. You can either get a refund for the difference, which I think was about $15, or I'll give you two free paintings, um, which was double the $15 value. So I was like, yeah, I'll take the two free paintings. Uh, thank you very much. So I actually ended up getting seven paintings. And uh, so let's, okay, so there's nothing in here. Perfect. So let's go ahead and take a look. So it came in a nice little box, nice and sturdy. Looks like each individual one is wrapped with a little card around it that we'll take a look at. So let's just get them all out of the box right now. So one, two, three. Oh, well, that's a small one. Three, four, five, six, seven. And look, there was even nice bubble wrap packaged around it to keep it nice and safe very well packaged. 10 out of 10 for packaging. Sorry if you hear that noise in the background. Again, if you've watched my channel at all, you know that that's my dog walking around. Um, for those of you who have been following, there is just the one dog now. Um, we had to put Callie down at the end of November due to her degenerative myelopathy. So it's just Rogan now. Um, I think I'm going to be putting out an update video at some point too. I'm not sure when, whenever I have some time to sit around and do like a drill with me. Um, I'm still considered an essential worker apparently, so I'm actually still working <laughs> right now. So I only have the weekend. Okay, buddy. Go lay down. Good boy. So yeah, he's just, he's rogues a lot more needy now that Kelly's gone. All right, so there's the ones and let's take a look at them one by one. So we're going to start with the first one. So it comes with elastic wrapped around it and a little card and it just basically says, here, let me bring it closer. It's like a getting started. Whoa, I'm really bad with this. It's been a while. Uh, this getting started guide is basically just like unpack your canvas, diamonds and tools, unroll the canvas onto a smooth flat surface, peel off plastic sheet, canvas will be sticky, choose a bag of diamonds, find the symbol for that number and the legend, pour the diamonds into the tray. Dip the pen into the pink wax. This will make it possible to pick up the diamonds. Press the diamond onto the corresponding square. That's it. Pretty simple. Okay, so this first one. Let's see how they're packaged. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, this is, I think, one of the free ones I got. This is Enjoy the Ride. So I've been interested in some of these chalkboard ones, but I don't like the amount of 310 that comes with them. So I figured I'd try some of these small ones. So here it is, Enjoy the Ride. Oh, I'm looking on the, the video screen and I can actually see that that looks pretty, pretty good. You can actually see Enjoy and the Ride. You can see the letters pretty well. And here's the drills some nice pretty aquas in there so just simple 14 colors no DMC codes that's probably gonna be these typical kind of uh, kits that you're gonna get so I'm just gonna get them and roll them back up um, I guess I will put them back in the plastic bags too dun, dun, dun. Except it's sticky and it doesn't want to go in. I figure like these snack size ones I can maybe even take to work and like work on at my lunchtime. Or I can do them out here in the living room on my TV tray. I've been working on a big one right now and it's just kind of getting frustrating dealing with um, dealing with it. But I just watched uh, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's video about how to work on small uh, or sorry how to work on larger canvases in small areas and uh, that was really helpful actually I'll link that uh, in the comments below or maybe in an eye here if I remember how to do those things <laughs> it's been a while forgive me I'm just gonna throw the elastics and the cards up there because I don't need any of the elastics actually I'm gonna keep the elastics because we use them to keep the cupboards closed so the dog doesn't get into them into the garbage because he likes to do that Oh, I think this is my other free one. Yes, this is my other free one. I got this one to do for my mom. It's called Shih Tzu. And it's based on the same artist that does some work for um, ooh, Dreamer Designs. Now, I don't believe they have this specific one. But, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, I forgot to say, the other one uh, was a 30 by 25. The Enjoy the Ride was a 30 by 25. This one is a 30 by 30. They all come with the typical kits. I think I forgot to mention that in the last one. So I'm just going to throw all these in my typical tool drawer. So look at that. Isn't he a cutie? Oh my gosh. I got this for my mom because she used to have a Shih Tzu. His coloring was a little different. He was more of a black and white than a brown and white, but I still think she'll like it. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. So I love that they're poured canvases, poured glue, right? So that we don't have to worry about the rivers. Oh my gosh. It's super sticky. I still can't believe I got these in one day. Perfect place to order from if you're in Canada and you want something really quick and just want some small ones um, if you want bigger ones. I don't know if they're going to start carrying bigger ones. I think I'm actually going to send her a message because she's got one in this style. Uh, again, the same artist that does the work for Dreamer Designs and it's the German Shepherd one and I want to get that one but I want to get it in a much bigger size so I want to see if she is going to get any bigger size ones. But yeah, he's a cutie. And then there's the beads. For it. There's some greens, there's some blues, there's a little bit of everything. There's 21 colors in this one. Again, no DMC codes. So that's that. That's oh, he, wow, he's super cute. He actually looks really good. You know, again, I worry about these small ones and what they will look like. So I don't know why I keep trying to put these in these bags. It's really frustrating. I should just put them back in the zip in the ziplock bags. I usually like to keep my kits in. But I think I'm just gonna throw these. I've got a little hanging organizer on the back of one of my doors and I put the small ones in there. Alright, so those were the two free ones. Now let's see what I actually ordered. <laughs> this one. This one is Starry Lighthouse, again by the same artist as the last picture that does work for Dreamer Designs. Again, I don't think they have had this one. I'm trying to remember what they had. I know they had the Corgi, which I almost got because I love Corgis. I don't have one yet, but I want to get to Corgi. Cool kit. And this one is also for my mother because 
Oh, isn't that good? Wow. That looks really good. I'm surprised how good they look for this small size. That's actually not going to look too bad at all. Uh, this is for my mom because her father and her, when they were kids, used to go camping up at a place called Tobermory in Ontario. And there's a lighthouse there. And when my grandfather passed away, he was cremated. And we actually took a trip up there to where they used to camp. And we uh, put his ashes out at the water there by the by the lighthouse. So I thought she would like this. Obviously, it's not the same lighthouse, but it's a representation. And there's other colors. Again, not DMC. There's 22 colors in this one. This is going to be pretty. Oh, I like this one. So that one was called Starry Lighthouse. It's a 30 by 30. I'm hoping that I'm remembering to say all the sizes and how many colors there are. These are all round, by the way. I'll just get that out of the way now. Um, I'm, I'm not really a fan of squares anymore. I think it's just because I ordered so many kits from China and the China kits for squares are not that great, a lot of them. Um, I, I know there are some that are good, but I haven't had much good luck. I know the Diamond Art Club squares are apparently supposed to be very good, but I haven't even tried one of theirs yet because I've just been too nervous to do any squares. Uh, this one is uh, also by the same artist. Can you tell I like this artist? Um, it is called Howling Wolf. For those of you that know me, know I love wolves. And so when I saw this one, this was the actual the image that made me want to place an order in the first place. Toolkit. Oh, wow. Look at that. A little bit of glare on that, but you can see there's a wolf here and he's standing on a ledge over top of I don't know what that's supposed to be flowers anyways looks really nice just the silhouette of the howling wolf yeah that's gonna look pretty good not as good as some of the other ones but I think it's gonna look pretty good uh, 22 colors in this one 30 by 30 and I know it's glare you can't really see can you the colors so there's the colors. So that's that. Howling Wolf. Stephanie, if you're watching, I don't know if you have that one already. Wouldn't be surprised if you did. <laughs> Everybody watch me struggle to put these back in the bags. Just snickering. I definitely will be ordering more from this place, um, diamondart.ca. These look like really good quality kits. They're poured glue. Okay, so what's this one? Is this the same artist again? Oh my gosh, it is. This is the same artist again. It's just called Sailboat. And it's another one that's kind of like a silhouette. Uh, toolkits? <laughs> Anybody need toolkits? Seriously. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. So here is the silhouette of the sailboat on the ocean or wherever with the nice night sky in the background. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh, I really like that one. <clears throat> 21 colors in this one, 30 by 30. Look at the colors. Oh, I love the colors in these paintings. I'm really excited. I'm not testing the sticky and all that on all of them because I'm assuming they're all going to be about the same. Obviously this is um, a third party seller I'm assuming because they look like they're coming from a Chinese site possibly. Oh I just noticed this one has the name on it. Sailboat can't see it it's probably very tiny do they all say have a sticker oh I think they all have a sticker and I just noticed it they do my goodness okay so this one is you are my sunshine you are it's another one of the chalkboard paintings this one is a 30 by 40 
Toolkit. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. You are my sunshine. I can see the letters very clearly. Those sunflowers are gorgeous. There is going to be a poop ton of 310, even in this small one. Actually, you know, I say it's going to be a poop ton, but it looks like it's kind of very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, people? It's been a while. Hmm. There's only 17 colors in this one, which I would expect. I'm looking for 310, and of course there's no DMC, so I can't even tell. But it's not really black. It's more of a dark gray. I don't know if you can see it in there. Uh, probably too much glare. But it'll be interesting to see how it looks. So again, 17 colors, 30 by 40. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Not only sunshine. I cannot sing, but I always try. <laughs> All right, one more. This looks like it's going to be the smallest one. Even though it's, well, maybe it's just rolled sideways because I think it's supposed to be bigger. Let's see. So this one is supposed to be a 30 by 25. Maybe they have it. Oh, yeah, they haven't folded the 25 way, it looks like. That's why it just looks really small. This one is called Life is Better with a Dog. And for those of you that have a dog, you already know that. I was worried about the clearness of this one, but we'll see. Oh, it looks, there is uh, the tool bowl. Oh, so 25 by 30. Well, in the camera, it looks not bad. Life is better with a dog. There's 17 colors in this one. Here are the colors. Mostly like browns, grays, blacks, lots of black. There looks like there's a little bit of a tealy color here for the dog, I'm assuming. The word dog, not the actual dog, because there is no dog. There's like some paw prints, there's some bone shadowing. So we'll see how this one comes out. But yeah, not too bad. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these. Like I said, I will be ordering from here again once I get through some of these. Um, I'm actually gonna reach out to the owner. I don't know her name. I don't even know if it's a female. Uh, whoever it was, was very, very polite and very friendly and very helpful and very nice. We were actually making some jokes towards the end of our conversation there. Um, very pleasant to deal with so I'll definitely be contacting her to see if she'll be getting that German Shepherd one uh, again especially in a larger size because I'd like to do that German Shepherd one in a larger size. But yeah that's it everyone. That's my that's my most recent haul. My reason for coming back to make a video. Like I said I'll try to maybe do a whip and chat uh, at some point and kind of like update on my health and working and the dogs and all that stuff. So that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more videos because uh, as it is now, the videos that I will put up if I do will be very random. So uh, you'll probably want to be subscribed to get notified uh, I guess you can hit the bell if you want to get notified. I don't find it works that well. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.